There's some seeds in there. Second bite. Mm -mm. Oh God. Oh. It's getting worse. <laughs> What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. This is the first video of 2022 and we are on fire. Hopefully that's not gonna be literally on fire because today we're playing with hot peppers. You know, this week I was craving for a spicy Tommy's margarita and for some reasons I was not able to find any jalapeno pepper because jalapeno pepper is my go-to when I think of a spicy margarita. So I was a little bit disappointed, but I found different varieties of hot peppers. So that gave me an idea. We're gonna try them in a cocktail and we're gonna see if it can replace the jalapeno and who knows, maybe that's even gonna be better because there are some things that I don't really like about jalapenos. Even if it's my go-to when I think of a spicy margarita, it's never the same level of spiciness. And there's a reason for that. When they grow jalapeno pepper, if the plant is not stressed, it's not gonna develop the same level of spiciness. The pepper does that kind of to protect himself for when it's stressed. For example, when it lacks of water, it's a stress for the plant, so it will develop something called the... Hold up, I need to look on Google. The Capsaicin. I'm gonna write it down here because I'm really not sure about the pronunciation, but this is what is gonna make the jalapeno spicy. And the more the plant is stressed, the more spicy it's gonna be. So all that to say that sometimes when you grow a plant of jalapeno pepper and you just give that little plant enough water, that's just gonna make a sweet jalapeno pepper. So you never know what you're gonna find at the grocery store. So the kind of pepper that we're gonna try today is first the serrano pepper, then we're gonna try the bird's eye chili pepper and we're gonna end this up with some habanero. I have a feeling that maybe the best one today will be the serrano pepper because when I use a jalapeno in a spicy margarita, I don't only use it for its spiciness, I also really enjoy the taste of the flesh. And to me, it looks like the serrano will be closer to that. But before we try them in a the cocktail, I have to try them by themselves and I am terrified because I don't usually eat that spicy and I don't even think I can handle that much spiciness. Even though it's a big trend, a lot of people love their spicy food. There's even some spicy challenges online with the hashtag no reaction. In my case, chances are it's gonna be hashtag instant regret. So we're soon gonna find out, but before I'm gonna grab myself a large glass of cold water. Even if I heard this was not the best thing to drink when you're having spicy food, who cares, that's what I have. So let's go. All right, so the Serrano pepper. This one on the Scoville scale, which is the scale that calculates the amount of spiciness in a pepper, is between two and three times spicier than a jalapeno. And it is the mildest one that we have today. So if I can't handle this one, wish me luck for the rest of the video. Let's have a little bite, shall we? <laughs> How much should I have? Just a little bit or a large one? Oh, that's fine. It's not even spicy. Maybe the seeds are spicier. Let's see. There's some seeds in there. Second bite. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh God. Oh. It's getting worse. <laughs> It burns, it really does. The taste was good. Like the tip of it without the seeds, it was good. And it's really, it's tasting like green pepper. So I assume that if you use the right amount of this one in the spicy margarita, it can be really nice. It's also pretty spicy. I'm even more afraid now. <laughs> All right. Let's try the bird's eye chili pepper. 
Yay. <laughs> this one, how much spice here it is. Then a jalapeno. It still burns. More than 10 times spicier than a jalapeno. It's a bad idea. It still burns like all over my lips. My tongue is like out of control. <laughs> okay. Same thing. The tip is probably more eatable than the rest. Okay, 30 minutes later, I'm back from my little pause because this was like crazy spicy and I don't know if I'm really weak, but that was like too much for me. My whole mouth was out of control. My lips were burning. It was insane. I even started to panic a little bit and Sephora looked online and we actually realized that water was really a bad choice. Apparently it can just make it worse and milk is the way to go. So I have my little glass of milk here because I have more to go. <laughs> Yay. But before, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the taste from the bird's eye pepper. Aside from being extremely spicy, uh, I'm very curious of how it's gonna turn out in a margarita because as I thought, the serrano pepper was in terms of taste from the flesh, pretty similar to the jalapeno. So I think it's gonna do well in the margarita, but I'm very curious about this one because it has a little bit of a vinegar taste. So I can't wait to see how it's gonna taste in the, in the cocktail. But now <laughs> for the last, uh, Tasting of today, I have to try the habanero pepper, which is three times spicier than the bird's eye chili pepper. And I am scared to death now. I was terrified at the beginning of the video, but now I kind of regret that idea that I got. And because it is that spicy, I'm gonna take some more precautions. So I'm gonna take just a tiny, 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 tiny little bite because I don't wanna die. Wish me luck. Let's do it. Nothing's happening. I'm really starting to think that the problem with the peppers, and I should maybe look and Google that, is from the seeds. I have the feeling that the seeds are very spicy. So I'm gonna redo that. <laughs> so one seed and one little piece of flesh. really good actually tastes like um, passion fruit but it's not that spicy but I don't want to get too confident <laughs> think it's too much okay I feel it now it's pretty hot it's bearable because that was a tiny bite I'm wondering if I should just have a bigger bite of the flesh Flesh is very mild. It really does taste like passion fruit. That was interesting. In brief, I felt that the flesh was very tasty, but not too spicy. The seeds are extremely spicy and the overall taste of the pepper is peppery in terms of taste, but it also adds some kind of fruity flavors that makes me think of the passion fruit without the acidity and the sugar. But because of that fruity taste, I have the feeling that it might be delicious in the margarita. So we're done with the tasting of the peppers now. Let's make the cocktails.
So because we want to try to get something that's kind of equivalent in terms of spiciness, we're going to play a little trick here. Because they don't have all the same level of spiciness and because sometimes the flesh is mild and the seeds are spicy, what we're going to do is we're going to cut in the pepper in order to get both flesh and seeds. And because in my spicy margarita, I usually use three to four slices of jalapeno pepper. And because all those peppers are spicier, we're going to weigh them and we're going to try to make that kind of similar to a spicy margarita with jalapeno pepper. So for the serrano, I used eight grams. For the bird's eye pepper, I used 2.5 grams because there's not a lot of flesh and there's a lot of seeds, so it doesn't weigh that much. And for the habanero, I used 4.5 grams. So now for the ingredients, what you're gonna need is reposado tequila, agave syrup, and freshly squeezed lime juice. So now let's build the cocktails. So first, in a cocktail shaker, you're gonna place your pepper, on top of which you're gonna pour two ounces or 60 ml of Reposado tequila. You're gonna muddle the pepper with the tequila, and then you're gonna pour one ounce or 30 ml of freshly squeezed lime juice. Then you're gonna add three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of agave syrup. You're gonna fill your shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. Once you're done, you're gonna fine strain the cocktail in a chilled cocktail coupe, and there you go. This is how we make a spicy Tommy's margarita. Then you're gonna do the exact same thing with the bird's eye chili pepper, and also with the habanero pepper. So now, let's give them a try, and we're gonna go from the one that's supposed to be the mildest one until the one that's supposed to be the spiciest one. So first, the one with the serrano pepper, the one that I believe will be the closest one to the one with the jalapeno pepper. Cheers. Mm. Okay, that's delicious. That's really, really good. The heat, I believe is perfectly balanced and I was not wrong. The taste from the flesh is very present in the cocktail and I think mm, it's really, really close mm, to a spicy margarita made with a spicy jalapeno. I love it. So now with the bird's eye chili pepper, the one I was very curious about because of the taste of the pepper. And also the one that made me flinch <laughs> with the spiciness. <laughs> Just a tiny sip. Oh boy. <coughs> it is extremely spicy. I'm gonna take a real one, but it is very spicy. All right. That's not pleasant. That's way too spicy for my taste. And the taste from the pepper is also very weird. It still has that vinegar flair to it that I really don't like in the cocktail. I used bird eye chili pepper before in bourbon cocktails and rum cocktails and it worked really well. But here with the tequila, not a big fan. Plus I think it's very hard to balance the heat when you use that kind of pepper. So, so far, Serrano for the win. And now, the one with the habanero. Not too bad. It is not as spicy as this one, even though this pepper is supposed to be spicier. I believe when they do that Scoville scale kind of thing, it probably with the molecule of the pepper that they determine the spiciness of it, not the amount. And here, I believe the flesh is very mild compared to this and there's more flesh in there than in there. So that's probably why this one is very, very smoother than this one. It's almost milder than this one. And I don't get much the pepper taste, like the, the flesh taste. I was expecting a little bit more from this one. I kind of had hopes because of the fruity flavors from the flesh. It's just like it falls flat. So overall, it still is the second best one. This one is not, it's a no, big no-no for me. And the winner is the one with the serrano pepper. Guys, if you don't have access to jalapeno pepper and still wanna make a delicious, spicy Tommy's margarita, go with the serrano pepper. It is 
a winner pepper. So guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy seeing me suffering. It was my pleasure. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Happy New Year and see you very soon. Cheers.